And we're live again. Yay. My voice is trashed. So, you know, what? why why not just go live when you your lighting's funny and your uh, voice is trashed from being sick? But that's okay because you know what? Sometimes you just have to get it out. Sometimes you just have a toy that you need to discuss in what I hope will be five minutes, but I have a tendency to ramble. Hey, Michael's in here. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so I decided while typing up um, my the description for this live stream that I'm going to try to do what I'm calling spontaneous toy reviews. So basically with that, there are toys that are worth really like setting up the camera, making the experience. Um, not to say that these toys aren't worth attention, but like sometimes I'll be going through my own toys or I am just cleaning something up and I'll be like, this is such a ridiculous product or specific. I need to talk about it like right now. So I'm going to start doing maybe, who cares how often, maybe once a week, twice a week, um, these segments that I'm calling, again, spontaneous toy reviews. So here's my spontaneous toy review. Um, I am backing myself into a wall. This is, this is liable to be so embarrassing, which makes it even better in a way. So, <laughs> oh, Greg's in here. Hey, guys. Hey, how's it going? Thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, I won't take up too much of your time. This is going to be a pretty quick review. But I am revealing um, a toy purchase that I made a couple weeks ago, like two weeks ago, I think, a week or ten, week and a half, two weeks ago. Um, I was lurking on the Internet, and for some reason, it I, this toy, this franchise came to my mind, and I was like, oh, my God, I wonder if toys were ever made, and if they were, how much do they cost? Can I get my hands on it? And it turned out that only that there were three figures, one for each character in the show, were made. Hi, hey, Michael, how's it going? Um, and so yeah, there were three char three characters, main characters in the show. There was a toy for each character made, and then there was no really no more merchandise. Um, I will preface and say I was way too old to be watching this show. It came out when I was twenty, <laughs> maybe eighteen, and I discovered it when I was twenty. But so anyway, with this show, um, I was looking for the toys and package in the, in the package, they were going for like $200 a piece, which I was like, no. Then I stumbled across this like purchasing site. It's not even an auction site. I want to say it's, I'm going to, it's like Mercati or something like really weird. Like it's just this really randomly named site and they send me emails all the time. I promptly delete it. And I was like, all right. I found all three of these figures for $50 used, but gently used. And I'm there's this random website that I'm about to throw my money at. Let's go. So I did it. All right, and they're in here. So what did this garbage person buy? This garbage person who is surrounded by people who collect um, Transformers and Masters of the Universe and GI Joe and Star Wars toys and just series collectibles. And I have series stuff in my collection as well. I am a Power Rangers collector. But what I bought, $50. Look at this. Look at what I got. Oh my God. Okay, you ready? I'm getting all three of them out. I bought like the only Lazy Town toys that exist. Look at these. <laughs> I'm the worst. Okay, let's talk a little bit about these toys. All right, so again, I started watching Lazy Town when I was too old, 20. Um, but like what appealed to me about it was, they're so cute. I think what appealed to me about it was like, it was just so cheery. It's like, it was like a Pee Wee's Playhouse on crack. And I loved, like, I'm weird, okay, I admit it. But like, I like the puppets, I like the artistry, I like the writing. I'm actually friendly with Mark Valenti, who's the writer on the show. We're Facebook buddies, we've chatted on the phone. He's cool, he's so, so, so super cool, greatest guy. Like, I've been fortunate enough that, you know, you like a thing and then you find yourself surrounded by the creatives who made it. Um, unfortunately, as a lot of us know, the actor who played Robbie Rotten, Stephen Carl, passed away from cancer last year i want to say it was august but it was like the worst day and i learned about his cancer diagnosis as my mom was dying this is you know toy wizards we're not going to get we don't have to get too deep but like as my mom was dying from cancer this poor man got his own diagnosis and it was hard and so it was one of those things where it was like countdown 
to just hearing the worst thing ever. So it was, that was really, really tough. But the show itself, it was fun. Look at these. This show is from Iceland. And like what, I mean, I know there's so much amazing art from Iceland. We have, you know, Bjork and there's tons and tons of cool visual art. Like everyone, like Iceland has a population of 300,000 and they're all beautiful artists, <laughs> but it's incredible. So when I took these, these toys are 2006 Fisher Price. And I want to say they may have only been released in the UK. Um, they're enormous. I was not expecting them to be, God, are these like eight inches? They're huge. I was not, maybe not, like they're pretty big. According to the original packaging, they are supposed to talk and sing. Um, I really don't need them to do that. I really don't need them to do that. Um, I, I know the songs. Oh my gosh, I'm, so, I'm such a dork. Um, yeah, I don't need them to sing, but I am wondering, I'm going to probably open the back, get the bat and see, make sure there's no batteries in here because the last thing I need are some weird corroding batteries. So you have a button here. Yeah, you have a button here on Stephanie. Oh, and see, they move, they're articulated, maybe even overly so. It's like they really, they really stay in place so she can make her jump. Um, oh, oh, no, that's what it does. Look, look, she flaps. That's what it does. Look at that. That is nuts. Yeah, um, I thought the description said they were supposed to sing, but again, they don't have to. But they have batteries. They have batteries in them, so they're supposed to do something. Sporticus does his, his sports jump. Very cool. And what does Ro – Robbie Rotten actually doesn't have a button on him, which is awesome because really this was the figure that I was after. This was the figure that I was after. Did you guys know this is a total fact? I'm not making anything up. Did you know that Robbie Rotten plus Freddy Krueger equals Waluigi? Think about it. So again, um, I'm going to figure out how to store these. These are used, and they are in pretty good shape. There's only a little bit of chip paint or uh, paint chipping here. Everything is good and tight. Nothing is falling off. Um, like I said, they're semi, they, they're not really posable. They stand, he's standing right now. They do stand and I appreciate that. So I can display them. They're not too heavy. They don't fall, oh, Stephanie's too heavy. Oh, can I, yeah, Stephanie's too heavy. So I'm gonna have to use some sort of glue or gum or something to hold her down. Sporticus, I think, Sporticus will stay still but he's a little bit chest heavy cause you know, oof, strong dude. Um, so that's what we have going on here. You guys are so cool to hang out with me while I talk about lazy town figures. Um, I promise I have cool things. And you know what? Because I'm going to be doing these spontaneous toy reviews, I actually do have two more in the pipeline that I found in my house today where I was just like, this is a toy that needs to be discussed. Um, one is, I'll, I'll spoil it. One, I have a Ninja Turtle and then one from a girly franchise. So, um, those two old toys definitely need to be discussed. This is so, oh man, do you guys remember like the Bing Bang song? Not, now the, not the Peppa with the big, the Bing Bong, but like, you know, the Bing Bang song. Um, gosh, the show was asking for it in so many ways. And this is before the, we are number one. This is, that was in the Lazy Town second run. That was the second run of Lazy Town, where it was canceled and then brought back with a new little girl playing Stephanie because uh, Julia and Rose Mariello got too old. So, you know, that happens. But they brought it back for a second season, and that's where that meme song came from that everyone gets all excited about. Hey, Carlos, good to see you. How's it going? I'll be wrapping up in just a minute. We'll leave this at the 10-minute mark. So this was my spontaneous purchase, my spontaneous toy review. Again, I bought these for $50. Um, and package, they all go for over 200 and I would say the condition of these is very good. Um, they, they move, they're tight, the paint is in good condition, the only, the, Stephanie's a little bit schmutzy, it looks, technical term, schmutzy. You guys want to learn Yiddish? Hang out with me in my live streams. Um, she has like a little bit of what looks like it might be Play-Doh, like a kid put Play-Doh on her face, which I can get behind, because that's exactly what my daughter does, just smash Play-Doh on the face. So I'm very, um, you know, I'm not personally a, um, I'm not personally, like if I can get it mint in box, like I'm all about that mint on card, perfect. But I am definitely, I definitely have an assortment of toys that are loved. Um, I, you know, I have like shelf toys, desk toys, and then glass case toys. I, I separate them by all of those 
And so for me, all these are treasure. Um, and Carlos is saying, when are we seeing a Lauren Stone auction? Never, I like my stuff. <laughs> Unless I should start um, collecting things for you guys to buy, then that'd be fantastic. But no, as for my things, nothing's for sale. <laughs> um, but if you want to see some Sailor Moon toys and some Power Ranger toys and some tchotchkes, I have the wizard from Sophia the First. If you want to see a weirdo with her Cedric, the sensational toy, that's me. That's the person you're hanging out with. So again, thank you guys for letting me show off these new Lazy Town toys. I am so in love with them. I'm so happy with the price. Um, again, I never saw these on the shelves. They may have been a UK exclusive. They got tons of merchandise over there for that show. And what a spectacular show it was. So again, thank you guys for hanging out with me for a couple of minutes. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Monday. And I will see you later in the week for Toy News Live if you'll hang out with me to discuss and wrap up a week in toy news and we are off to a fantastic start today so go visit our site toy-wizards.com read today's toy news give me tomorrow's toy news we're gonna look at toy news like for the rest of the week it'll be awesome i am pumped so if you're not as enthusiastic right now you will be by the end of the day because i think toy news is best news all right my my, my darling lovey friends um carlos you collect power rangers well, now we're now you're stuck with me. Okay. Take care you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a beautiful week. Bye.